Hey, how's it going? Today I would like to talk about disposable income and what that is. Disposable income is the amount of money that an individual or household has available for spending and savings after tax and other mad uh, mandatory deductions uh, have been taken out. It represents the income that is left over for discretionary use after all necessary expenses such as taxes, rent or mortgage payments, utilities and other essential bills has been paid. Uh, disposable income can be used for various purposes including uh, con consumption, savings, debt repayment, investments, Overall, I believe all the income, myself, a lot of, uh, especially these days, uh, some of the people that I talk to, all income uh, should be discretionary income, not necessarily disposable income. It's uh, just a mindset uh, when it comes to income and uh, how we talk about money. Most likely the same behaviors you're going to be adapting when it comes to perhaps uh, using your money. If it's disposable, it's something that... Uh, uh, to be get rid of instead of perhaps using the best possible way. Uh, some of the uses of overall capital that you are receiving every month that would be instead of using as disposable capital, perhaps you can use it as emergency fund. Building and maintaining an emergency fund it should be at your top priorities when it comes to financial. Pro uh, use of overall capital. This fund can cover unexpected expenses such as medical bills, uh, car repairs, or job loss. In case you would lose your job, I would definitely recommend it has at least said, uh, six months of saving as, uh, uh, for a rainy day without resorting to a high interest debt. Uh, other way of using your money would be debt repayment, especially high interest, uh, like credit cards, balance or personal loans. Using your money to pay down this debt can be a wise choice. Reducing debt can free up more of your income in the long run and save your money on your interest, especially if you have 20% 20, uh, 20 interest on your credit cards. Uh, instead, instead of disposing your overall income, you perhaps consider investing. Consider investing your money in assets like stocks, bonds, or real estate property. Or invest uh, investments have the potential of grow over time and provide you with additional income or capital uh, capital appreciation. Retirement savings contribute to retirement accounts like uh, four hundred. 401k or ARIs, it depends, depends, uh, that's one way to go about it. And, and overall, uh, if perhaps the best investments overall, where to begin would be perhaps investing in overall yourself and overall education, that perhaps would be best investment and uh, especially how easy it is to learn the different skills right now these days compared to or how it was perhaps 20 years ago and how it is right now. Uh, let me share you a quick story with you. I recently been uh, on the conference call. We were discussing different topics. One of them uh, were currently uh, the way how people are uh, taking the notice of slowing down of the economy and how are they managing their overall capital. And I've been on the presentation that was prepared here in UK and uh, how the different companies, non-profit companies looking to perhaps helping people and uh, they had a bunch of numbers, how they're going to be helping a lot of groups of people. They had five pillars of uh, helping people, my personal opinion, and none of those uh, pillars were looking at overall education and perhaps educating people of how to use the overall uh, money in a better way. It didn't really interest me uh, other than perhaps myself and what kind of actions I can take perhaps uh, focusing more on overall education and people taking notice of what they are doing with their money and overall spendings. I believe that's the best investment that that non-profit non organization can do in helping communities 
as well and instead of telling them perhaps <laughs> buying cheaper products <laughs> which is good perhaps uh, save some money instead of buying cheaper beans <laughs> can of beans i guess uh cheaper brand so that's one way to go about it perhaps overall savings and perhaps how people think about money and overall education that would be perhaps best investment i did uh, raise my concerns about overall their approaches that they currently have but it's all what we can do i guess uh healthcare and insurance ensure that you have adequate health insurance and consider other insurance policies like life insurance and split insurance protect yourself and your family from unforeseen events home ownership by buying a home can be a good investment but it's essential to evaluate where it aligns with your long-term goals and financial situations uh charitable considerations consider donating to causes or organizations that can care about that you that you care about this not only help others but can also provide tax benefits overall how you organizing your overall budget perhaps uh, i have mentioned that before if you have noticed that would be 70 10 10 10 perhaps 70 percent should cover all your expenses perhaps 10 percent would be savings 10 percent would be perhaps uh, money allocated for charities and uh, potentially 10 can be investments that would be budget to begin with and how you can overall uh, manage your money allocate your money uh, having a structure and plan in place beginning with the overall budget and having a budget and have that money uh, organized in uh, at least not in a perfect way but that would be one of ways to go about it especially in the beginning if you are younger uh, perhaps down the line you perhaps improve that overall budget that 100 percent and how you allocate in your money but that's a good starting point uh, business ventures if you have entrepreneurial spirit uh, aspirations or spirit investing in small business or startups can be an option throughout involves uh, do your own research since that might involve a, a lot of risk I have noticed that a lot of people are talking about uh, initial coin offers, uh, initial public offers that you can find a lot of perhaps opportunities that might be uh, within your risk tolerance. But do your own uh, research and understand these kind of offerings as well if you would like to invest in early uh, projects that can yield uh, high returns potentially but there's risk when it comes to investing in anything and you should consult with your financial advisor before making these kind of decisions uh personal uh, personal development uh, i would uh, definitely highlight that it's one of the best investments that you can make especially in the beginning and from there perhaps consider other investments down the line uh, recently I have published a book, name of the book is Game Strategy, I uh, would highly recommend for everyone to read it, I uh, have done a lot of research already, as well as I am sharing a lot of information up to others of how to start a business, how to run the business, and uh, some of the strategies and ways to think about it that I believe uh, can offer a lot of value for anyone who is interested in this kind of area. Uh, especially uh, if you're just starting out some of the concepts that I'm using but something that I'm interested in is uh, would be games and perhaps that particular industry for people who perhaps uh, grew up <laughs> with video games and uh, yeah some of the concepts are very easy to understand and adapt uh, from the basic to very uh, advanced concepts overall uh, if you would go to a link in the description you would find uh, this book on my company's website as well as the top uh, retailers uh, I'm a believer that uh, none of the capital should be considered to be disposable capital and the way how anyone's uh, managing the overall monthly uh, income uh, should be uh, having everyone or either yourself uh, personal income or that would be a place where to begin personal income and the way how you're organizing your personal income would be 100% and how you're saving that 100% or allocating that 100% is 
some of those systems and potentially the better thinking about when it comes to your overall income a place to begin and from there managing this kind of budget from there you can work on different budgets perhaps starting from your personal budget how you're managing that one you can progress to managing different budgets for different projects but if you would start with your own habits and developing those habits good habits financial habits understanding uh, financial language that's uh, that's a way to go about it uh thanks everyone for watching and i uh, will see you in the next one